Uh, Coach Morris and, and his crew, um, when you win one like that on the road, it, you know, you, you've got probably one of those special seasons going. Uh, and I, I've had that feeling before. And they, they, they played, um, I'm, I'm sure, not up to his standard, but uh, did enough to win there at the end. And um, that's a really good football team. And I told our guys after the game, I wanted them to, to understand. I'm not mad. I'm not. Um, for huge periods, um, huge stretches, we played uh, tonight. You know, like a, a championship American athletic conference team should play, and I was really proud of that. We hadn't seen that in a year and a half, guys. Um, against a really, really good team to play that well um, for an extended period of time, I, I was really proud. Now we got a long way to go, obviously. I, I, Rather get beat by 50, I told them. I, I would. I would. Um, because it's hard to be that close um, and yet still know uh, we got a lot of work to do. Um, so I, I am. I'm really proud. That that team on the other sideline uh, tonight is, is really good. And they've got something special. They got a hell of a quarterback, um, a hell of a coach, and they've, they've got something brewing. And for us to be in the position that we were, that, that's a, a team I, I feel like we, we really haven't seen in our two years here. Um, so I was proud of that. But again, it's, I would expect them to move on probably even faster had we won. Um, and so this one's going to hurt. but. If you're going to celebrate the wins for 24 hours, you, you've got to mourn the losses for 24 hours because I, I don't even know who won or lost in our conference today. Don't really care, but I do know one thing. U, UT San Antonio, um, under the guidance of Jeff Trailer, is not going to care how we lost, whether we lost. Um, we got a job to go do um, in seven days, and we'll get up tomorrow. We'll lick our wounds, and I, I think probably the most hopeful part of the evening is if if that's um, the upper echelon of, of this conference, which it appears we we played two teams or, or two conference games. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. might, might be just that. But if that is, if those two teams are what we think they are, then, then we, we should be pretty proud uh, where we're at in a year and a half. Um, and so we haven't been to a bowl game around here uh, in a while. And we're going to have six more, like I said, just like that. And all we got to do is improve and grow uh, so infinitesimally, infinitesimally, no. small, smallly. Um, we got to grow um, just a little bit uh, to put us over the edge in, in games like that, uh, like tonight. Um, but I, if we do, which I think we will, um, you know, we. We got six winnable games in front of us and six losable games. So uh, it'll be up to the guys in that locker room um, how they want to attack this week. Two Question. Two scoring drives late there for you and the team. What kind of led to their success? Was there fatigue with the defense or did they just execute well? Uh, it, all of the above. Yeah, we had uh, some really, really poor tackling. And I know it's hard to tackle when it's wet. I mean, we broke a lot of tackle on offense, too. Uh, I'm sure Coach Morris is up in arms about how many tackles they missed. So I, I get that. Uh, that's a really good quarterback. Um, now, fatigue, it's just we still have just enough of the old us in us. Um, that when it shows up, it shows up in some, some really bad ways. And um, 
So we had some guys in the wrong gap. We had some guys um, taking the running back when they should have taken the quarterback or vice versa. And so, um, but yet they did it perfectly well 10 other times throughout the course of the game. So um, we're still learning that every play is the play of the game. And you, you need to be that dialed in and that focused um, on your assignment. And we talk the whole week, ah, not the whole week, we, we talked certainly today about the three things you can control on that field, your effort, your assignment, whether you know what to do or don't know what to do, and then your technique. And so um, if you play with great effort, you know what you're doing and you play the way you're coached to do, usually really, and I told them, you're not gonna win every one. You can do everything right. And I think that's where maybe we struggled in the past was with this whole belief of, of how we do things that it was almost, well, see coach, I tried it your way and I got beat. Well, I, I know, uh, our way only gets you in the door. You know, uh, it gives you an opportunity. And I, I told him in, going into this game, we're not gonna win every battle tonight, but if, if we win enough and we keep battling, you know, and we did, we, we didn't win quite enough, but um, I saw a bunch of guys out there for really, really long periods of time time trying to do it uh, the way we would have done. Well, let's talk about your quarterback play. You might as well. Uh, he's a great dual threat quarterback. Uh, he extends plays real well and does a good job with his legs. But, it's, you know, he had, what, career high three touchdown passes in addition to his running. So why don't you describe what you saw from your quarterback and you think that he's getting much, much better as time goes on? I saw the guy we recruited. <laughs> I, I saw. Um, what I've seen in practice, I saw a confident dude, you know, a, a guy um, I don't know if this is, I saw a guy that knew he was one of, if not the best player on, on the field. And he went out and was that. Um, and, and that was really, really fun to see. He needed a game like this. Um, it had been brewing, I, I think, you know, the first quarter of Wagner, uh, the interception uh, down on the goal line, once, a, I think, put a damper on it, but you score 17 points in one quarter, and, uh, you know, I think you, other than that pick, you might have had not thrown an incompletion or something like that. So, um, he played really good, and, man, there's a lot that he left out there, too, you know, and so, um, I know you guys, you guys have seen a lot of football, a lot of, of college football. I mean, these are 18 to 22 year old um, young guys. And I hope you guys see the level of growth uh, that I have seen in, in this team in the last few weeks. Uh, that's a different team wearing blue and red that just had a really, really hard loss. Uh, then showed up in stores, Connecticut. That I can promise you. Um, so to make the the jumps, the strides, the growth that not just the quarterback, uh, our our entire team, our offensive line, we blocked them, you know, and Cam trusted them. How about that? How cool was that to see him just kind of slide a little bit, slide up in the pocket, big plays. Um, so they're learning, they're growing, and I wish we could play a game every other day. Uh, so that these guys could just continue to go get that experience, but um, their bodies won't, won't let it. Uh, so we'll keep trying to make practice really hard um, to simulate the games because we're, we're close and the quarterback is too. And we lost them, but, and it hurts. We grew up a lot too. I have a follow up. Have you ever seen many what other games turn out to be shootouts like this? Because let's face the reality, this game I think had over collectively between both teams what over a thousand yards. I think close right to, around it, there, not, close yeah. to it. Or right at yeah, yeah, right around there. So this was a wet weather fun game to watch. Yeah, it's. Uh, I was surprised. Yeah, um, I was surprised they ran the ball as well as they did against us. Um, that we didn't tackle that. You look at the stat sheet. Yeah, you 
519 yards or 8 of 15 on uh, third down and 6 of 6 in the red zone and uh, and you lose. And we, we you know, Rotten Bell and Tony has a, has a, when he speaks at clinics and whatnot, he says, what, what's elite defense? It, it changes every week. Like, and he believes this in his core that, you know, if you lose a game three to two, you, you didn't play elite defense, you know, um, because you gave up one more point than they did. And so I think hopefully our offense, we're not good enough to think we've arrived by any stretch, but I think we also know that um, we had a chance to end the game on offense, and we didn't. So um, you can look at all those numbers and all that. They scored more than we did, and uh, we made a lot of strides on that side of the ball, have in the last couple of weeks, but it wasn't enough. No, it wasn't enough. Prior to the bye week, uh, Cam said that other teams were scheming to try to take away the deep ball from you guys, and then tonight you guys started having more success in that area, started getting more shots down the field. Given the personnel, you know you guys have limited wide receivers, lost some guys to injury. What are some of the challenges scheming players open in the second level, and how are you looking to build upon the success you had in that regard moving forward? I, I think this is going to sound really silly, but having done this for a long time, um, the, the, the great wide receivers, I, in college offenses, I think you can survive because in zone defenses, it's, it's about feel and time. And then in man to man, we, we tell our quarterbacks all the time, one-on-one -on -one is not covered. Like timing and ball placement beat one-on-one -on -one coverage every time. Timing and ball placement. So I don't think you, it, yeah, does it help if you're, you know, a, a first rounder? Yeah. Um, those guys, and, and it's usually after the catch, right? Um, I forget where you're going with the question, but I, I do know that with really, really good offensive, oh, I was about the deep shot. When we can block, when we block them, you know, it's, it's not hard to get open, right? And oh, you want to play man to man and I can't get open on you? Great, the quarterback will put it on my right here or right here or right here, you know? And that's how you survive, you know, with when you lose players at wide receiver and, um, you know, you, you try to design plays throughout the week that are, are going to get guys open. But at the end of the day, if you're going to throw the ball past 10, 15 yards, you, you got to block them. And we blocked them pretty well. Yeah, I have one last question. If you go back to the statute, you also dominated the time of possession. So from what I saw, I don't know what the last numbers were. Yeah, 30, yeah, 36 to 23, 30, oh. yeah, 36 to 24. Right, so when, when you're able to dominate time of possession, obviously that probably can feel like this is an opportunity that did get away knowing that the, there were many of them out there. Yeah, I, I think, Time of possession is is pretty overrated statistic, um, but it, it was important for us to run the football tonight. I mean, this is a defense that really, really. I mean, you you put three wide receivers in the boundary, they're going to put the whole secondary over there and and tell that corner just go play that guy to the field by himself, and and they're going to stop the run. And we ran the football, um, and so I, I think you know you hate to be learning and growing on Saturdays. Um, but when your team is, um, you know, this new and, and certainly offensively, you, you've had not just the nine new starters, but then new starters within that, <laughs> that nine new starters is, um, there's a, a, a growth process and we're still growing. And yeah, time of possession was, it was good to see, but, that and two bucks will give me a cup of coffee at Starbucks right now. So, uh, all right. That's one. Oh. What, was the, uh, what, was, what went behind that reverse flicker in the second quarter? Like, why, why did you call it right there? What, what was going through your mind prior to that play? I was, I, I was pissed that we, that we had a penalty on first down. And then, I don't know. I don't know. I, just, I knew I wanted to call it at some point in that drive because we'd kind of been setting it up with some formation in the boundary, some wide zone, and 
second 12, I think is what it was. Just felt like the right time. All right, thank you. Thanks, guys. <laughs>